Repeat after me. The brains are in the coil. The brains are in the coil. And look, it's blinking because it's always thinking. And when it's thinking, it's sinking if one or both of these things are on. And that leads us to the essential question for this video. Is there a capability difference between the remote and the WS6 Master? The answer is the same in multiple languages. No. Just in case if your internet went bad, let me repeat that answer. The answer is no. There are no capability differences. Being that the brains are in the coil, what these are for, two things, inferencing and tuning. All of the metal detecting math, all of the metal detecting executive function happens in the coil. Fast multi-frequency, 4 to 45 kilohertz. And instantaneously, when all of the metal detecting processing is done in the coil, a signal that is 10 times faster than low latency Bluetooth is sent to either the WS6 master or the remote, or both. I'll give you another analogy. This is like the engine to a car, and this is like a choice between two different dashboards. So think of it like car dashboard versus motorcycle dashboard, and know that both have an elite engine. And the WS6 is meant to be versatile. Most people know it as part of a headset. If you prefer, you can go wristwatch. And you could attach the WS6 Master to the stem of the Deus 2. It's meant to be versatile. It's meant to be light. It's meant to be the same exact Deus 2 with a different dashboard and a better price point and more versatility. So, Merrill, what exactly is different? Let's start out with use in water. The WS6 Master is water resistant, and there is a workaround to get it to be able to be submerged. But truthfully, if you are a serious diver, you're going to want to get the remote. But let me show you the workaround. And here's an image of the workaround. You just put the WS6 in there, and you could connect it, and you'll be able to get audio. Now let's talk about placement, as in where could you put either one of these options? The remote is almost always used on the stem of the detector. But as you become an expert on the sounds of the detector, sound is the most important tool for a metal detectorist. There is a belt clip that you can tidy things up and you could just clip on your belt. While it may sound counterintuitive to detect blind, Let's actually take a look at this. I'm going to put this on my belt right now, and I have a nickel on my left, and I have a quarter on my right. Let's take a close look. Here is the nickel, which is a uh, mid-tone, and here is a quarter, and I've got it in uh, five tones and uh, the most basic program. That is a basic example of how you could tell the difference with sound. And you might ask yourself, how do you pinpoint without hitting the pinpoint button? Centered, speed up, and disappears. Right up here is where I'm going to dig. And how do you tell depth? Well, as long as you keep the audio response low, you'll be able to hear a big difference between deep targets, which will sound faint, versus targets that are closer to the surface. Everything you just saw perfectly applies to the WS6 Master. So, keeping all of that in mind, let's go over the options for the WS6 Master. You saw before that you can choose to put the WS6 Master on the stem of the detector, on a wristband, or you could just keep it in the headset. And that leads us to this incredibly important point. The remote has an internal speaker, and the WS6 Master does not have an internal speaker. So wait a second. How are you going to put it on the wrist or the stem? 
Trust the process you are about to see. If you choose to keep the WS6 in the headset, and all you gotta do is just slide it in like this until it clicks. If you keep it in the headset, you're gonna get perfect sound out of it, but you're not gonna get any visuals. But there's a workaround with that too. And that's where this incredibly important piece of equipment comes in. Notice that this adapter has an audio jack. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this in until it clicks, just like that. And now watch what it can do. Now we have the uh, wristband and uh, this is the mount that goes on the stem. And if you notice, each one of these has a hole that fits right where the audio jack is. You're gonna choose one of these. Let me take this and all you're gonna do is push that in and look, there's your audio jack. And then you could pretty much plug in any headphone that you want and you have a visual and you have audio. But can it still be wireless? Well, what do you think? We got a workaround for that too. All you'd have to do is get a pair of WSA2 headphones and pair them. And now let's compare the screen sizes of the remote and the WS6 Master. And this is where I want you to think of the analogy of a car dashboard versus a motorcycle dashboard. You don't need air conditioning on a motorcycle. Looking at these next to each other, you can see that you could fit multiple WS6 Master screens within the screen of the remote. But I think this will really do it justice. Look, I'm putting an American Quarter right here. Um, it, it's even wider than the screen. But that's where company philosophy comes in. The lighter the weight that we make our detectors, the longer that you can swing, and the less wear and tear on your body. The XP Deus 2 with the remote is already blowing away everything else in weight and ergonomics on the market. But take a look at these statistics. The WS6 Master, it makes it even lighter, significantly lighter. Because of screen size, stuff that you would see on one screen has to be split into several screens. For instance, here's the same thing on the remote. All right, let's wrap up the differences here. There is no backlight on the WS6 Master, and there is no XY screen. But regardless of which option you choose, you are getting a professional crater making device. It's a ring. Okay, number one, look at that. Look at that. So, hold on, you gotta see this. I'm about to run out of film. Look at this. Eighteen inches ring. Click the link in the video description or the pinned comment. It will take you to our Amazon store and you can purchase the WS6 Master as we described it in this video with the adapter, with everything that you need. But just in case if you're worried that the WS6 Master is difficult to learn, let me show you otherwise. I need about 10 minutes and go. In 10 minutes, you will have a comfortable understanding of the WS6 Master, and my quick start guide will help. The beauty of the Deus 2 is it is a universe of a metal detector, but you could be competent on day one, and this quick start guide will help. I'm about to give you the very basics that will make you competent, and from there, you will go on to mastery. So this is the quick start guide that I made for you. It is stored on the XP website. And to get there, all you have to do is hit the link in the pinned comment or video description. And everything that we're gonna go over is here. And it's meant to be printed because when you scan this, it will take you back to this video. So just watch this next segment. Don't feel the pressure to remember everything. Remember, you could print my instructions 
take it with you. And if you forget something, you scan that code, you come right back to this video. Let's watch. Let's start with on and off. To turn it on, all you got to do is click this button. It's as simple as this. And to turn off, it is the top two buttons. It looks just like this. The detect screen. This is the basic detect screen, and uh, you have the ferrous, non-ferrous horseshoe right here. When you swing over a target, you're going to get the target ID of something. And to get to different programs, all you have to do, it's the plus and minus keys. So we're on general right now. So this is the detect screen. You change programs from here and you also pinpoint. The basic pinpoint is really simple. Get the target to repeat and you hold down the button in the corner right here for two seconds and it goes to pinpoint mode. So to pinpoint, you're hitting the button on the bottom right for two seconds. Frequency shift. Now let's say that you are running into a lot of EMI and what you do to mitigate that is a frequency shift. There's a quick fix for that. The button that looks like you're turning off the power, all you gotta do, hold it down, just that button, and you are doing a frequency shift. So to do a frequency shift, all you need to do is hold down the button on the top left. Ground grab. And I think one of the most important things that you can do that actually measures the amount of magnetism in the soil and uh, mitigates the effects of that is a ground grab. You have to hold down this button and you're going to pump your coil. It'll show you that. And you're going to do a ground grab. To do a ground grab, hold down the bottom left button and pump your coil. Resizing the numbers. I got one last trick for you from the detect screen. Let's say that you wanted to make the numbers the size of the screen. When you uh, go over something and it's target ID, all you will see is the numbers. So what you could do for that, you push these two buttons together and now you see it made it bigger. It will make it bigger. It'll look like this. To make the target ID numbers bigger, hold down both buttons simultaneously on the right hand side. Basic navigation. So here's what you need to know for navigation. The XP Deus 2 remote, it's got three buttons for basic navigation. And the WS6, because it's smaller, it's got two. It's got these two buttons. And you usually have three sets of uh, choices. On this one, you have two, but they consolidated the three into the two. Let's take a look at how it's set up. So these are the choices that are listed under the options button and the menu button. And there are sub choices under that. For instance, anything that is marked in red right now has a subcategory. You get an awful lot on the WS6 Master. And in order to make you fearless, in order to make you able to navigate this, you need to understand the triangles. Understand the triangles. If you understand the triangles, the WS6 Master will be easy and you will be completely fearless. Watch this, this will blow your mind. So we're gonna hit the menu button over here and it's taken us to discrimination. So there's three triangles here. These are the only three choices that you're going to have with triangles. This one simply means go back. So let's do that. We just went back. Okay, great. I showed you that. Now you have two triangles. This is short press. This is long press. Long press is select. Short press goes to the next category. So let's do that. Sensitivity, because I'm showing, you know, and I don't want beeping. I moved sensitivity to zero for this. Um, frequency max, iron volume, 
reactivity, audio response. You would adjust any of these with the plus and minus button and uh, ground balance. But anyway, back to discrimination here because it's got it gives us three different options. Let's say that I wanted to select that. I'm going to hold this down. And just like that, we select uh, tones. You could go five tones. You could go pitch back and such. And look, there's another option with three triangles. Let's do short press, bottle caps, notch one, silencer. And notice, you know, some of them have more options. So that is the discrimination category. Let's go back. And it's like that with other categories too. Um, let's say I wanted to adjust the sensitivity. I, I could add to it. Of course, I'm taking it away because we're indoors. Um, frequency max, let's say we wanted lower frequencies to max out on. There you go. And so forth. Down the list, it's really easy. Now, let's go back to the detect screen. And that's the one that has the horseshoe. And let's try this over here. Now, pairing, um, you could select the coil. Um, you could select headphones. Um, you could select the pin pointer. You could pair anything, any of uh, the XP products with it. And uh, th the coil just so happens I got two here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold this down, select it. And it's on this one right now. We're going to switch to this one. Just let's see. So short press over here. And there we go. And now it is going to pair with the other coil. No coil. Oh, it just switched and it beeped. It blinked, not beeped. It's as simple as that. It's really easy to navigate. And again, it's just understanding the triangles. Remember the triangles. This is what each one of them mean. Go back, short press, scroll down, long press, select. And now you have a challenge. Now, if I did my job correctly, you'll be able to handle this challenge. It's on the second page. And remember, this was meant to be printed out. You also have a QR code that'll get you back to the video if you do get stuck with this challenge. But take a look. Beginner's challenge, calibrate your Deus 2 WS6 Master. Turn on your detector. We covered that. Set the program to general, covered. Do a ground grab, hey, there's a shortcut button. Do a frequency shift, if there's EMI, we covered that. Now here's your challenge. This is gonna take you navigating the detector. Hit the menu button and scroll to ground balance. We did cover uh, that, you know, the various menus and, you know, the triangles and perform a ground balance. That's GB. And remember, if you get stuck, just scan this QR code. Closing thoughts. The purpose of this video is to be a perception changer. Some people like cars and trucks. Some people like motorcycles. Please notice that we do things very differently at XP. And we like to give people options based on what your values are. Uh, for example, ergonomics, it can be argued that this is a better option for you. This is not a lesser version of this, maybe with the exception of if you are a diver. If you're a diver, you're gonna want this. But this, this has the same capabilities. The brains are in the coil. Speaking of brains, at the price point that the WS6 Master is at, it is a no-brainer. So I think I've made my point. These are both elite crater makers, as I like to call them. And XP has a commitment to innovating, but also educating. Once again, it's an absolute honor to be instructing you in this video. And I thank you for watching.